What is happening everybody? Hello and welcome back to Total Blast where we discuss about everything Marvel in the MCU. And today, we have some exciting news on Marvel slash Sony Spider-Man 4 after a really long time. Because it almost looked like Sony and the MCU forgot all about Peter Parker, the ambitious Spider-Man No Way Home concluded by closing up loose ends for former Spider-Man Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield. However, fans have been scratching their heads as to where the world crawler will swing by next. Especially after Spider-Man No Way Home established a new status quo for Tom Holland's superhero and grossed a big buck in the box office. Got into Tom Holland, they may have to wait a little longer because it looks like another fight for justice is delaying the fourth MCU adventure. And that's not the only Spider-Man that we're going to be talking about today because we've got some major updates about another web swinger from another dimension who fans also adore. And yes, I'm talking about none other than Miles Morales and we're all so eager to see him when he finally makes his live action debut in the MCU. And before we go into all of the teeth bits about today's gossip, don't forget that we're still giving out a brand new PlayStation 5 on this channel to one lucky subscriber. More on how to win at the end of this video. And if this is your first time, please subscribe and enable the post notifications so you don't miss out on subsequent videos. And now, starting off with Tom Holland's Spider-Man 4. Well, during the press tour of his most recent Apple TV Plus series, The Crowded Room, Tom Holland admitted that he and others have suspended development on the fourth Spider-Man film to support the writer Guild of America Strike. He says, and I quote, I can't talk about that, but I can say is that we've been having meetings. Said when asked about Spidey 4, we've put the meeting on pause in solidarity with the writers. Holland told Variety, there have been multiple conversations as of this point, but it is very, very in the early stages. End of quote. Now, part of the reason the new sequel hasn't been officially revealed is Spider-Man's unique status in the film industry. Marvel Entertainment surrendered the right to make Spider-Man movies to Columbia and its parent company, Sony, a decade before Marvel Studios debuted with 2008 Iron Man. And indeed, Marvel licensed the right to make it its property, including the X-Men and Fantastic Four to 20th Century Fox and the Hulk and Namor to Universal. Whereas, Disney's purchased 20th Century Fox to bring back the X-Men and the Fantastic Four back into the MCU, and that has already worked out an arrangement to employ Hulk and Namor as well, at least as supporting characters. Sony has been less eager to give up the grip on Spider-Man. And this is not without reason. Spider-Man is the world's most popular superhero in terms of identification and sales. Even though Sony has created some critically planned films featuring Peter Parker and his great buddies, they have also been extremely successful in the film. Consider the expected weekend gross for Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, which has earned $16 million in Thursday previews alone. However, there are a few limitations. To begin, the original condition specifies that Sony must release a new live-action Spider-Man film every five years or else the right will be reverted back to Marvel. Second, there are contracts that brought Spidey into the MCU in the first place, which gave Feige control of the pictures and ensured merchandising income for Disney while leaving the film's right at 75% of the profit with Sony. That contract, however, expired following Avengers Endgame and was renegotiated before No Way Home, just for one film. And based on his statement, Holland appears to be confident that a deal will be reached and it will be back in the old red and blue tight at some point. As frustrating as the wait is, there is no dispute on that the paycheck to paycheck freelancer Peter Parker would bring to the WJS fight for equitable wages. So, we'll wait for the studios to do the right thing and make a deal, knowing that we'll never forget Spider-Man. Elsewhere, Sony Picture Executive Amy Pascal, a long-term Spider-Man series producer, spoke with Variety on the state of Holland Spider-Man 4. Pascal began by stating that Spider-Man 4 is still in the works, before disclosing that he's been impacted by the ongoing right out Guilds of America strike. Work on the film has been halted according to Pascal, because everyone involved is supporting the strike. Pascal confirmed work will begin on Spider-Man 4 when the writer's strikes end. However, Tom Holland Spider-Man can return for the next Avengers film, The Kang Dynasty, which is scheduled to release for May 2025. Given that everyone in the universe has forgotten who Peter Parker is, it'll be interesting to see what they do with it. Furthermore, Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige has previously announced that the plot for Spider-Man 4 has been finalized. And while there are many details on what the plot will be all about or characters that will be in it, Spider-Man 4 has now received an update and should be given an idea of when more information about the film will be accessible. Interestingly, Tom Holland's Peter Parker will be the first Peter Parker actor to receive a fourth Spider-Man film. Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man 4 was scrapped and the series was relaunched in favor of Andrew Garfield's The Amazing Spider-Man film, which was only a duology with Holland subsequently taking on the role of Peter Parker in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The MCU will have a Spider-Man 4, even though it could take longer than we anticipated owing to the writer's strike. The release date of Holland's upcoming Spider-Man standalone movie is uncertain, but Holland's involvement is. Every Tom Holland Spider-Man film up until this point has been released two years after the previous one. MCU tendency will be broken by Spider-Man 4, as Spider-Man No Way Home in 2021 would require the Wall Crawler subsequent film to be released this year to continue the trend. 
So, the spotlight now switches to when Spider-Man 4 might hit theaters since the 2023 debut is no longer feasible. A Spider-Man 4 release could be at least two years away, given that the work on the picture won't continue until the writer's strike is over, and it will most likely begin after mid-2024. Spider-Man will probably appear in Avengers Kang Dynasty, which hit theaters on May 2nd of 2025. Next up, let's talk about the latest regarding the live-action debut of Miles Morales. I mean... Marvel fans have been praising Shamik Moore for his portrayal of Miles Morales and the smash hit Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, which brought in Cat and Spidey to live. And meanwhile, Sony producer Amy Pascal confirmed that a live-action feature starring Zendaya and Tom Holland as Spider-Man, as well as a long-groomed Spider-Man woman movie, are now in production. This set film will be the live-action adaptation of Miles Morales' version of the superhero, but no actor has since been named for the Miles Morales movie. Production is set to be in early stages. The possibility of more playing a live-action Miles is now open. He has since expressed his hope in a recent interview with The Hollywood Reporter, emphasizing that he will give the part all of his life if given the chance. He says, and I quote, Yes, you would get more than the voice if I was to play it. Moore said of what he could bring to the role. I could get in shape, take him time to get slim, slim, and shave up the beard, get into the Afro mood, and take out the braid, and I would just put my entire being into the performance. End of quote. All of this is exciting. Mars' main challenge in landing the role of Mars Morales is that the character is often portrayed as a teenager, and more, at 20 years old, might be at some point where he can portray a youthful character credibly. But well, given the nature of the MCU and the multiverse, it's actually possible to see a variant of Mars Morales like an older Mars Morales pop up from another dimensional universe. So, we really cannot rule that out. The film Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse is now in theaters. Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse is due to arrive on 29th of March of 2024. And Spider-Man 4 with Tom Holland and Miles Morales film have no definite release date. And with that said, let's head over right to our giveaways. As we're still giving out a brand new PlayStation 5 on this channel. To one lucky subscriber once we hit a milestone of 1,000 subscribers. And all you have to do to win is watch our videos, subscribe, turn on post notifications, like, and comment. And one lucky subscriber will be chosen from the comment section to win our brand new PlayStation 5. Also, want to say thank you to everyone who has ever supported us this far. We truly appreciate it. What are your thoughts on this video? And how excited are you to see Tom Holland in Spider-Man 4? And who do you think should suit up in live action Miles Morales? Please, don't forget to like this video and share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you don't miss out on any of our latest Marvel news. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I hope to see you in the next one.